first guy from Vista High School to make it to the NFL, even though we had a great coach and great athletes, better athletes than me. But I, I think I had the lowest self-esteem, you know. So I was, I'm, I was desperate to be great, you know. And so I went to the University of Washington, and we played in five bowl games in five years back when it was uh, difficult to go to a bowl game. So we two years in the USFL, and the league folded, and then I met my, my wife-to-be, but she uh, only wanted to be friends, so I made the Oilers to get her to like me, and then she came and visited, and I had to go to the Oilers because they had, uh, they had my rights from the, the, the NFL supplemental draft. And the Oilers were loaded, and I was lucky to make the team that first year. I got a sack my first game against the Packers, and then in a drive blocking drill in practice the next week, I, I got all the muscles torn off my rib cage and took Novocaine for six weeks, and that was my shot. So I played special teams and then came back the next year, and that was the year they'd go to the playoffs, and I got cut. And then they wanted me to scab because they had a strike, and I chose to go to Canada instead because I didn't want to strike against my other buddies. I love those guys. And then I married the love of my life and went off and did what I probably enjoyed a heck of a lot more than football, which was being a dad and a husband and having three kids. We had kids and, and um, she got breast cancer after the birth of our third daughter and she died five years later in my arms at home and I didn't realize it at the time, but she was our anchor and, you know, so I went off and did some things that... Um, and I find myself here in Texas. I hit the perfect storm of adversity that just just wiped me out and um, so I found myself in my 50s trying to get an opportunity. I was desperate, I mean I really was desperate and there's something about the big time athlete when he fails miserably, it's, it's a special kind of hell on earth mm -hmm. and we beat ourselves up terribly because we're so used to you know being able to just you know through our uh, um, you know, getting up every time we get knocked down, or, uh, we, we just keep fighting and fighting, and we're so used to success, and when you don't have it, you get desperate, and so I decided to put a sign out on the street to, with my suit and tie, hand out resumes to near a business park to get an owner's attention, and um, and it worked. I got, and in fact, I ended up on Fox News, but my kids freaked out because they saw their faces on the evening news. They weren't prepared for it, you know. But I may be to the point where I, it doesn't matter what my gifts are. I just have to solder two wires together and never speak, you know. I don't know. So I'm to that point where um, so I've come back to the, maybe the last land of opportunity, Texas.